recording? <laughs> okay. <coughs> so finally, you're here, Jamer. Uh, a big congratulations to your achievement. A uh, long way to go, I must say. Uh, but as a friend, uh, I'm very proud of you. Thank um, you, man. So uh, some of my friends have been telling me that what's up with this guy? Yeah, carrying a, a coke bo- uh, coke bottle uh, with some water inside and and traveling, cycling around around the country. So they've been asking me this. So what's about what, what about what, what's about uh, the messenger? Yes. Uh, so basically, this is a it's, it's a discarded plastic bottle. So I picked this up along the way mm-hmm. to Runana. So I, w- I went there. I carried uh, my bicycle, and we walked uh, for seven days on average, eight to eleven hours, eight to ten hours a day. So on the seventh day, we reached the lake. Okay. And I used this uh, to collect the uh, melt water from okay. uh, Tortomi Glacier. Yeah. Now the the reason I use this discarded plastic bottle is so that it stands for plastic pollution, mm-hmm. the waste yeah. problem that's yes. not only rampant in Bhutan but all over the world. You can easily find it as well. Eh? Yeah, along, yeah. along the way, you, yeah. you know, you, you see this beautiful backdrop, the mm-hmm. Himalayas, or the yes. beautiful lakes, and then when yes. you look around, yes. you can always see at least few trashes. Yes. And I think <laughs> it's safe to say that uh, uh, the horsemen, especially the Layaps and Lunaps, mm-hmm. they love uh, coke. Man. Yes, <laughs> yes. So Probably so they don't realize that uh, the impact of this on the environment. Timbella. Yeah. I, I think it's because I think there needs to be some kind of a, uh, awareness. Yes. 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 To, yes. You know, They're ignorant. They're ignorant. Yes. Yeah. That's, yes. That's the right word. Yes. So I need to be so I think they would uh, send a very strong message. Yes. To yes. And this trip, uh, so you started from Pema uh, and right. you're here. Right. How many days was it? And then um, what did you do along the along the along the, the track? <coughs> Cycling. Uh, so the reason we started from Pemogatsal is uh, because it's our old school, school yes. it's where it all Makes began, yes. where it all began. Uh, my love for nature and my introduction to film began in Pemogatsal. Is it from Chang City? <laughs> I visited. <laughs> uh, there were no solo sheen. No anymore. solo sheen. Unfortunately, what happened to solo sheen? I think there have been too many floods. Okay, uh, washed away, right? Uh, yeah, I used to enjoy solo sheen. We used to, I know, man. What is solution, by the way? I think that cinnamon, they, they no, no, cinnamon, yeah. cinnamon. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, along the way we've been uh, visiting schools mm-hmm. and talking to the students. Uh, we've been made sh- we've made sure uh, that we did not disrupt the academic sessions. We yes. just visited them du- during their morning assemblies yes. and took this bottle and talked to the students uh, for about a few minutes. Okay, basically in schools you t- you talked about uh, this bottle, the climate change, and then also you planted trees in all schools that you visited, uh, right? Unfortunately, not all schools. All schools okay. o- only my old schools. Okay. Old, like Pemakatsel, Jamangka, Okay. Uh, Sharapin, Sharapse. Okay. Uh, so why, 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 why bias? To only your old schools. <laughs> no, if the schools were open to it, we were willing to do it. Just that uh, we were instructed by the education mm-hmm. and the ministry not okay. to disrupt the schools. Yeah. Uh, so, so we've been uh, in this uh, electric support car. We've mm-hmm. been. Uh, uh, it's been following me, and we, we have a film crew. That's and we are filming uh, an uh, educational okay. environmental documentary okay. series mm-hmm. that will come out soon. Okay. What is it that you felt that you have actually achieved through this journey so far? The schools and the villages that you crossed. I, I I don't think uh, I can gauge that, assess that right away right now. But I think it's an ongoing project. So it's a good start, definitely. But uh, we want to keep at it. Uh, firstly through the campaign, secondly through the film okay. and again uh, in the future I would like to uh, give a proper presentation or, okay. uh, take the time and talk okay. to the students so okay. that way I think it will continue Okay. so what's next? does it end here or what happens next? <clears throat> uh, thank you for that question because I, I was going to uh, talk a little bit about this because this is not a one-off project now we started from Demogasil and ended in Tempu that doesn't mean the campaign ends. Yes. So, you know, scientists say that now we have less than 10 years uh, before the climate crisis, the tipping point of the climate crisis becomes irreversible. Yes. So, I would like to continue this campaign until the end of that, end of the decade. Uh, hopefully with, yeah. with people's blessings and support. Uh, I would like to really take this message uh, of what's happening mm. to the Himalayas and the world for that matter. Mm. And... Uh, tell the people and especially the world leaders and big businesses of what's happening mm-hmm. to small countries like Bhutan mm-hmm. who's uh, had no impact uh, over the, on 
the climate crisis. Okay. What is your immediate plan after this? <clears throat> uh, I would like to make that announcement shortly, not yet, like, because we're still okay. in the planning stages. Okay. Okay. Very okay. shortly, we would like to make okay. that announcement. Okay. Is it? Is it? Do you think this is your lifelong project? I think. So. I think. Yeah. I would like. I. Yeah, yeah. I think we can say that. I, I'd like to dedicate my life to this cause. But that doesn't mean I'll be not. I'll not be doing other things. Also, I love making films. I'll be making uh, other films, short films, okay. other documentary films, feature films, maybe also series. Oh, yes. yes. You know, I've done this Norman trek uh, as part of this Norman race, and the, I, I've seen myself because I'm not a climate expert, but I've seen it. I've slept uh, where the glaciers falling. It's very, very, very uh, it's fearful, daunting, yeah. daunting, and fearful. I've seen that um, Soju. We call it the unwelcome beach. You know, you don't you don't need that up there in, in, in the Himalayan mountains. Have you seen such kind of stories that you want to share with maybe people who are watching us just now that these are these are, these are the worrying signs of climate, the impacts of climate change? I think there are several. I've, I've talked mm. to a lot of people along the way, and especially in uh, uh, Tanza and Sojong. Yes. Uh, for example, they've been, they, when I was up there, mm. some household, one of some households were already about to harvest. Uh, I think what do they do up there? Is it uh, millet? Uh, yeah, I think there was something. Uh, not wheat. Yeah. Not wheat. I don't no, know. Sorry, yeah. I think it's wheat. But uh, they were harvesting a month earlier. So that's a clear sign of warming. Yes. Uh, it's never happened before since. And not only that, in '94, the flood when the uh, glacial lake burst in. Totally. Uh, uh, Lugiso. Lugiso. Okay. Lugiso. Yeah. There were casualties in in yes. in, in Sojo. Yes. Uh, not many people know about that. I didn't know that until I visited yeah. Sojo. Yeah, I mean there are a lot of <coughs> stories. I think you've been there a couple of times. I've been there once. There are a lot of stories about climate change and even spotting uh, mosquitoes, you know, up, up in like four thousand three hundred or four thousand five hundred meters above sea level. So there's a lot of stories. Anyway, I think Jamek it's it's very briefly it's a pleasure talking to you. Nice. Um and uh, as I said, uh, people are asking, what's up with this guy, yeah? Coke bottle. You know, cycling around, but it's interesting that somebody has to do it. I think people don't really understand uh, the huge impact of climate change, and, and you, I think, uh, taking this forefront is quite uh, quite amazing. Anything, anything yes. you want to add? Uh, thank you for this opportunity. But uh, and uh, Nola, basically, I'm grateful this op for this opportunity to be able to uh, to share. I think it's a life, being a lifelong passion to ever give the environment, be able to make a film on it also. So I, I hope to continue this campaign and like to request people to, to take this journey with me. Very excited, Jamil. I think uh, my childhood friend, I think to having done this uh, and it's coming to life, I think it's quite exciting. And I wish you all the best and we'll, 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 we'll follow, I think. And it's important to have conversations like this, I think. That's where people understand more, I think, informal conversations like this. But congratulations once again. Thank you. Thank you. Wishing you a, 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 a lot of luck ahead. Thank you. Thank you, guys. And in